teaching staff are going to come out of this period with a whole new repertoire of, of digital skills and often hard won skills, new ways of teaching their subjects online, ways of supporting their students at a distance. Students themselves and, and staff together have had this extended experience of, of teaching and learning and assessment um, at a distance. One of the things I really sort of noticed was that a lot of staff started to use stuff like screen capture software. So for maybe to help with their assessments, their teaching, their ability to give feedback. And I think people also got over that fear of having to try and create these Hollywood productions. And just sort of get it in, get it out, because it really enhances what they're doing. There was a lot of fear in the beginning and it took a long time to kind of learn all the things that I really felt I needed to know. Um, and there were a lot of courses put on, a lot of information made available, which was brilliant, but it was incredibly time consuming. We here in TEL saw almost like a 400% increase in participation in, in live online training. That had a big demand on our department, but you know, I think everyone rallied together and you know, people really had an eagerness to learn. So staff had to be really creative in the ways that they delivered their classes. Um, things that would usually be delivered in lab time had to be now delivered online. Um, so, you know, a way that they overcame this was by using the flipped classroom approach. Uh, they would pre-record their lectures and give them to the students and then use their live class time then to work on the hands-on approach. My own nervousness of dealing with uh, the technology, that the technology might fail or a lot more likely that I would fail the technology. Uh, uh, I, you know, I would have always been nervous in advance of these sessions that, uh, that I hadn't it set up correctly, that, uh, that uh, People would have problems uh, entering the meetings, entering the sessions, etc. But as it transpired, it was all very, very straightforward. Students are beginning to have increased expectations in terms of what they expect the institute or the university to deliver. And so we're now looking, in terms of our teaching and learning, to move from simply recording of lectures or delivering lectures online to a more engaged experience for our students. I could zoom in and observe their work. I could observe it really closely, hear everything that they said watch their movement patterns very clearly. In the normal gym environment, I'm observing from a distance, I mightn't catch everything that they say. And so, yeah, it, you know, bizarrely, it actually, I think, almost worked better. It was the one thing that really worked better for me when we were online was assessing. For me, being able to access national and international speakers and be able to invite them as guest lecturers and panelists, which I wouldn't have been able to do before that as easily. And secondly, I guess for the students, whereby during breakout rooms they had an opportunity to interact more frequently and more regularly as you could do a random assignment. And on the basis of that, they met a lot more people than they would have done normally. The use of technology in teaching has totally improved their capacity to access um, the teaching environment and um, students reported that they didn't need so many to ask for so many accommodations around their assignments, exams, even in the teaching experience. Um, when lectures are recorded, they can manage much easier, so it helps them feel more included. Breakout rooms on Zoom, we were able to adapt to that. Lectures got students engaging by turning on their cameras and turning on their mics and using breakout rooms to engage with each other, so that was brilliant. We had to quickly upskill all academic staff while remembering that they have a different uh, level of comfortness with technology, they're using different devices. So in order for that to work, we had to quickly adapt the way that we were approaching our day-to-day -day work. Many of the staff who would have um, very rarely used this kind of technology are now continuing to use it, but also promoting it to others. Thankfully, our academic staff were incredibly uh, ingenious in relation to the solutions they came up with, and uh, our students benefited from same.